Hello, I'm Dan Liggett, editor of the Wilmington News Journal, and I'm here today with Wanda Armstrong, who is seeking re-election in the May 4 Republican primary. Thanks for coming in today, Mrs. Armstrong. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Glad to have you. Given the difficulty so many Clinton County property owners face during this economic crisis, what have you done as county auditor in terms of property valuations to relieve some of that tax burden? Um, we took a look at the sales that happened in 2008. The 1-1-2008 um, tax lien date, which was our last update, um, when it was determined by the state, those values are based on sales that took place in 2005, 2006, and 2007. The state puts most weight on the, the most current year, but all three years are considered in order to determine the values on the tax lien date, 1108. So when we look at 2008 sales, looking at the January 1 tax lien date of 09, those sales were about a half a percent higher than where we were at 2005. So there was no change warranted for the 2009 tax year. Now what you have to realize too is that foreclosure sales and sheriff sales are not market sales. The, the sales that are considered are arm's length sales. Those are sales between an, a willing buyer and a willing seller. So when there are other circumstances, um, you know, like a foreclosure, those sales are not considered by the state. Now what we've done for 2010 is we've looked at them preliminarily um, and the sales in 09 are going down. And so at this point they look like about 10% decline. Um, but there again, we won't know for sure until I submit an abstract to this Columbus in this fall. Um, and they will still look at 2007, 2008, and 2009 to determine the tax lien date of January 1 of 10. So I can't say what will happen. I, I can only say that what we're seeing and what we'll be submitting to Columbus, if this trend continues, um, then there will be a decrease in value for the 2010 tax year that will be payable next year in 2011. And uh, with the economic situation we're in uh, and, and also the, um, the strain that it has on the county budget, what, um, what have you as auditor done to help ensure the county's fiscal health? And do you support uh, county elected officials uh, taking pay cuts or unpaid furlough days uh, should those be ordered for the county? Um, you need to realize that um, county government operates on estimated revenue. And um, so as we estimate the revenue, we look at the sources of funds um, that the departments know about, that the state gives us, and create estimates from that. As time goes by, then sometimes we receive more or less on numerous line items in the general fund. Um, last year we received about a half a million dollars more than was anticipated, which was about 7% of the total amount, $12 million budget, and um, about a, close to half a million dollars less was spent than what the commissioners had appropriated, which made us have a healthier beginning balance this year. Um, in a $12 million budget, as a rule, 25% um, of your annual, rev annual revenue, which would be $3 million, would be your beginning balance, would be a, you know, a stable beginning balance. Um, our first payroll of the year is around $400,000. So, you know, you got to be able to operate in the first quarter before the, um, some of the major dollars start coming. Um, as far as uh, making changes, I don't really foresee in the near future that we're going to have to make major changes. Um, the commissioners have, um, like I said, there were cost-cutting things that have been done by all the departments that allowed us to have the higher balance this year. And, but if we did need to, I would there again do the same thing that I have done, which is to reassess the um, essential services that we provide to the county and look at what the costs are associated to, with that. And if there was um, uh, you know, an organized um, attempt or to, uh, for the elected officials to be involved in taking a, a pay cut from their statutory pay, I would definitely consider that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Wanda, for coming in today. Thank you. I appreciate you having You're me. Welcome. Okay.